Coming up on this week's Falcon Fever, the basketball team kicked off their preseason this week. See all the Midnight Madness action. Plus, the men's soccer team takes down one of their top-ranked opponents. And our Falcon Fever Player of the Week is also Player of the Week on the soccer team. His story and more on this week's Falcon Fever. And welcome to Falcon Fever. I'm Casey Beasley. And I'm Lauren Altaffer. Thanks so much for joining us. Montevella's men's and women's basketball teams kick off their 2012-2013 season Tuesday with Midnight Madness at Bank Trust Arena. The event was used to introduce this season's men's and women's basketball players and coaches. It also included several basketball skill competitions featuring fans and student athletes. The first 400 fans at the door received a t-shirt, tickets for door prizes, and free food. The event concluded with a drawing for a free Apple iPad along with a chance for one lucky student to win textbooks for the spring semester during a half-court shot attempt. Falcon Fever correspondent Raisha Albright talked with women's basketball coach Cindy Hilbrick, who says recruiting will play a big part in the team's success. And UM's president, Dr. John Stewart, says his, he's counting on a great home crowd to inspire the team this season. Do you think it is to come out and support the team? I think it's incredibly important. It's a great crowd. Uh, the home stands are almost filled up. It's very encouraging. I think this year we've got a lot of great events around the games plan and hopefully uh, give uh, lots of reasons for students to stay on campus and support the teams on the weekends as well as through the week. And uh, we're going to create a, a great game atmosphere this year. We have a lot of goals for the season. We have team goals, individual goals. Um, but actually, one of our goals is to have at least 17 wins. Um, the record since we've been in the NCAA is 16. And we feel that we have a pretty good team this year. And we're hoping to get at least 17 wins. How do you plan on improving from last season? Uh, well, I think it's already begun with the recruiting. Um, I've had a chance to kind of bring in my type of players. Um, they've done a really good job. They've already really been working hard. Our team chemistry is awesome. Um, so I think that's really going to help us be successful. The men's and women's basketball teams will hold their first official practice sessions October 15th. The men's season opener is October 30th with an exhibition game against Purdue University in West Lafayette, Indiana. The women's season tips off on October 31st with an exhibition game in Huntsville against Alabama A&M. The men's soccer team is still flying high after a strong start to the season. The men are 7-3-1 and are coming off a dominating performance against number 5 ranked Flagler on the 6th, where they beat the Saints 4-1. They continue to stay strong on the road as well as racking up a 4-1-1 record away from Varsity Field. This is a recipe for another run at the Peach Belt Crown and a championship season. Junior goalkeeper Brendan Ledgeway and sophomore forward Piero Manga received Peach Belt awards this week following the Falcons' win over the Saints. Ledgeway was named Goalkeeper of the Week for the second time, and Omanga was named Player of the Week for the first time in his short career. The Falcons are ranked number seven in the NCAA Division II Southeast Region poll and just jumped to number four. As of showtime this Wednesday, the men are preparing to face off against PBC foe Georgia Southwestern at 7.30 on Varsity Field. Players will recognize their favorite faculty and staff for Faculty Appreciation Night. The women's soccer team has hit a slump mid-season. On the 6th, the Fal Falcons also hosted Flagler at Varsity Field. The Falcons took on the Saints to a double overtime, but neither team could pull out the win. The game ended in a tie. Hopefully this halt to a five-game losing streak can help the Falcons turn things around for the rest of the season. The women's matchup against Georgia Southwestern got underway at 5 p.m. on Varsity Field. Be sure to check out our Facebook page for results from both men's and women's soccer games, and we'll have highlights on our next season show. While we're on soccer, that brings us to our Player of the Week. This week's Player of the Week is men's soccer standout sophomore Piero Manga, who just picked up the title of Player of the Week for the first time in his career. Pierre is a 6'3 forward from Paris, France. This is his first season here playing for the Falcons, and he is already making an impact. The men's and women's cross country teams are gearing up to host the PBC championship races after they competed in last Saturday's Walt Disney World Cross Country Classic. The men's team finished 13th out of 23 teams. 
Freshman Chris Perello led the team with a time of 29 minutes and 7 seconds, which was good enough for 68th place in the individual rankings. The women's team fared a little better, finishing 12th out of 27 teams. Last week's Falcon Fever Player of the Week, Haley Evans, led her team with a time of 19 minutes and 45 seconds, which earned her 15th place in the individual standings. Be sure to come out and support the Falcons in their next race here on campus. They host the PBC Championship races on October 20th. The volleyball ladies had some ups and some downs last weekend. Friday, the women had a hard-fought match against Lander University, but the Bear Bearcats took the match, beating UM 3-zip. Then on Saturday, the women had back-to-back -back matches. First up, the ladies faced off against the USC Aiken Pacers. The Falcons lost three straight sets, giving the Pacers a 3-0 victory. Later that day, the Falcons had a non-conference win over UAH, winning three out of four sets. The Falcons hit the road for a match on October 12th, playing Peach Belt rival Francis Marion University at 6 p.m. Switching gears to golf, the men's team is headed toward the end of the fall portion of their schedule. The men competed in the Indian Bayou Classic in Destin, Florida this week. The Falcons finished third with a collective score of 592, which was 16 strokes over par. In the individual rankings, UM junior Connor Godsey finished in three-way tie for first place with a two under par score of 142. The men wrap up their fall schedule on October 29th and 30th at the West Georgia Invitational in Carrollton, Georgia. Meanwhile, the women's teams will travel to North Carolina to play in the Patsy Rendleman Invitation on October 15th. Now it's time to announce our Falcon Fever Fan of the Week. This week's Fan of the Week is Falconet member Amelia Bennett. This is Amelia's third year on the Falcons dance team. Amelia always watches our show and has even helped out before. So thank you, Amelia, for all your support. Amelia's doing a great job of running the prompter for us right now. So yes, thank she you. is. <laughs> for this week's show, that is Amelia Bennett. And if you have any requests for next week's show, please let us know. For more UM Sports, you can get in on all the Falcon Fever action on YouTube and through social media. You can watch current and past episodes of Falcon Fever on YouTube. Just search Montevello for you. Also, add us as a friend on Facebook. There you'll find links to UM Sports stories throughout the week and live updates from the games. You can also leave a comment, talk about recent games, or give a shout out to your favorite UM athlete. You can also follow us on Twitter. Just search for UM Falcon Fever. And if you do leave us a comment or tweet us, we might just give you a shout out on our next show. And last but not least, get extended UM sports coverage on MontevelloFalcons.com. There you'll find team rosters, live stats, pictures, and more. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's show. I'm Lauren Altheffer. And I'm Casey Beasley. Until next time, stay classy, Montevello.